Hey, KB, and welcome to our logic lesson of the day. We are going to quickly go through a few things that we have learned in the past week and talk about them a little bit, read a few words, and spell a few words, and then we will be done. So check out your screen. This is what we learned yesterday at school. And we know that this is our newest consonant blend. Okay, we see two consonants. We see T and we see R. And we know that we can slide their sounds together to say tur. Okay, can you practice making that sound say tur? Good. Very good. Now, um, we want to make sure when we hear this in a word that we don't confuse it with the ch sound. So look or listen very closely when we get to our words to make sure you're listening for this new blend sound. We will also practice with our rhyme today. And you know our rhyme has three letters, I, N, G. And the sound we make for our rhyme is ing. Can you say ing? Very good. And we know that we can stick sounds before our rhyme to make words. And we'll do that a little bit today, too. The last thing we'll practice is with is double S. And you know we only use double S if we want a S sound after a short vowel sound. If we have a S sound at the beginning of a word, we're going to use one S. But if that s sound is after a short vowel sound, we want to double that s. All right, we are ready to look at a few words. We can go through pretty quickly if you're focused and read these words together. And then we will be ready to spell some words. Um, and I know you're going to do a great job. So let's check out your first one here. Put your thumb up. You see our new consonant blend at the beginning. And see if you can read this word. Go ahead. Okay, when I read this word, I should say trap. Trap. This is the word trap. And we see TR at the beginning. Our vowel is A, making the short sound A. Ah, and at the end is P, saying P. Trap. Okay, let's take a look at another one that has our new blend. Put your thumb up and try to read this word. Go ahead. Very nice job. When I read this word, I should say truck. Truck. The word truck starts with our consonant blend, T-R. In the middle, we have the short sound for you saying uh. And then at the end, we see CK, and we use CK for K because that K sound is right after a short vowel sound. So we have to use that digraph CK. All right, let's keep it going. Here's our next word that starts with our new blend. Go ahead and try this one. All right, when I read this word, I, su I should say tr -a -sh, trash. The word trash starts with tr, that's our new consonant blend. We have a in the middle making the short sound a, and at the end we have the digraph sound sh. Let's remember that sh says sh, trash. Okay, check out our word that's going to practice with our rhyme today. So on this word, we have a blend and then our rhyme, I-N-G. Let's see if you can read this word. Go ahead. Good. When I read this, I should say st-ing, sting. The blend S-T is saying st, and then our rhyme, I-N-G, is saying ing, st-ing, sting. All right, let's keep moving. This will be our last word to read today. And it's a double S word at the end. So put your thumb up and try to read this word. Go ahead. Okay, I should read O-S-less. 
The word less starts with the sound O for L. E is in the middle of the vowel, making a short sound E. Eh, and then we have to double that S. We have a sound after a short vowel sound, so we have to make sure to double that S. Okay, now it's time to have your whiteboard ready. We're going to practice spelling a few words. So I'll give you a word. You can say it, fingerspell it out loud, and do your best to write it on the board, and then you can check them together. Okay, let's do this. Your first word today is the word trick. Trick. Make sure you listen for that blend sound at the beginning. Try to get the digraph sound at the end. Trick. Okay, let's see how you did. In the word tricked, I have TR, which is the blend sound, right at the beginning. In the middle, I have a short vowel sound, I, so I write I. And then at the end, I need to remember to use the consonant digraph, C, K. Okay? So we have T-R-I-C-K for trick. Please make sure you have trick before we erase and try another one. Okay. Your next word today, my friends, is the word wing. Say wing. Finger spell it. Listen for that rhyme. And try to spell wing. Okay, let's see if you got it. When I check out the word wing, I should um, finger spell w ing wing. So on my board, I write w for the consonant sound w, and then i n g for ing w. Ing, wing. All right, so let's go on to your next one. And your next word is going to be the word boss. Boss. So say boss, fingerspell it, try to write it on your board, and then we'll check it together. Okay, let's see if you got it. The sounds I hear in boss are b, a, s, boss. So on my board, I should write b for the sound b. I hear the short sound a, and then that tells me, ooh, I've got a s sound after a short vowel sound, so I have to double that s. Boss is b, o, s, s, b, a, s, boss. All right, my friends, that's all we had to do today, and we did a great job practicing with these three skills. We talked about our newest consonant blend, dr, that makes the sound tr. Those sounds slide together, and you can hear both sounds. We also practiced with our rhyme, ing, which makes the sound ing. And we know that we can stick other sounds before that to make new words. And last but not least, we practice with double S. And you know that we have to use double S if we have a S sound after a short vowel sound. And only after a short vowel sound. So you did a great job practicing with me today. I'm very proud of you. And I can't wait to practice and learn some new skills next week.